Okay, how do you get everybody? This is part two of that 72, 73 item uh, Timu haul. As you can tell, this is a clock mold. It is inside. Twelve and oh my goodness, count Mars. Three eighths across. It is meant so that you can put numbers or whatever in here. I'm going to hand this off to my husband. He's now staying to help me with the molds so that he can take them out of the way as fast as possible. Now there is an edge on that mold that is a little off, but I think it's going to come back into shape. Now here's another clock mold. It does come with the clock parts, although I'm pretty sure anybody that's ever bought clock parts from Timu understands that uh, most of them are all bent to pieces. Sorry about the rattling. I don't want to rip the bag because I don't have baggies large enough for this. Wow. Look, the mold's already dirty. Okay. Get it turned around here. I'm going to keep it on the black so that you can see what it is. And I'll lift it up and try to get it as good into the picture as possible, into the frame. It has a lot of intricate details to it. All right, I'll get it measured for you. Inside tip to inside tip, 11 and 3 quarters inches. This one I have to cut open, sorry. And as you can tell, this is a bat mold. The only depth you have here is the edges. This almost kind of reminds me of, you know, that Batman bat signal one. Tip to tip. Seven and a half inches. Top to tail. I'm going to actually just go with the ear. So you got about four and a half inches there. Whoops, I think I might have seen that incorrectly. Four and a quarter inch. The other one to go with that. Oh, look. Different type of packaging. Same seller. Same set of mold stuff. Oh well. And we have a jack o' lantern. Now, the bat and the jack o' lantern might be the first two I do. And I will do them as a set. <clears throat> as you can tell, they both have these stands underneath to keep the mold from collapsing from the weight. Although it still feels like it. Now, I don't think there's going to be enough resin on top to cause that much weight. This can go in with the bat, please. Oh, I forgot to measure that. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. 
All right. Widest part to widest part. I'm going to go with here. Uh, well, kind of, sort of. So we're going to look at six and an eight. Or a sixteenth. Six and a sixteenth. Oops. And top of the stem to the bottom, six and a half. This is another clock mold. And it comes with parts. I'll have to check those parts out later. Um, all right. Santa Claus and his sack of goodies. I'm moving the camera around because that is... Sorry about the earthquake feel, guys, but this has got to go up out of the way. Okay. Let's try this again. Santa Claus. He's got... I don't know why... But he's got beady eyes. Really beady eyes. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Because Santa Claus shouldn't have beady eyes. But. He's kind of cool. So get here measured real fast. Okay. Widest point. Is seven. And let me turn it this way so that I can get a better look at it. Seven and a quarter ish by, let's uh, see the leaves up here, down. I'm going to go a little diagonally, about eight inches. guys really seriously I had planned to have this all open but since my last video ran horribly long spider web I'll bring it up it does have a hanger piece right here um two spiders but uh I probably will not be using those spiders because they look like ticks not spiders when they're done at least the image that they had on Timu. Just looks like a tick. And I'm not sure, but it looks like, oh, I get it. This one here has um, the spot for you to put a string through and have it hanging from this like it's from a piece of web. Measurement tip to tip here is just under eight and a half. Oh, well, hold on, might be eight and a half. Eight and a half. And from above the little plug thing there, I know what they ca they're called, but I'm, I'm too tired for that. Six and a half. Get this other plastic out of the way since my arm keeps hitting it. Next one is a large mold as well. And this one is a true elk. They call it a Christmas deer. This is an elk. Take it from a family of hunters. It's an elk. It is not a reindeer. And that's what um, a Christmas deer is, is a reindeer. It looks more like a caribou. 
but this is an elk. Very well done. Um, the antlers look like they should. And the hooves and legs also look like they should. This guy here, from tail to nose, is slightly over seven and a half inches. And I'm not going to do the antler for you. But from shoulder to bottom of hoof, five inches. Sorry, no, that's not my phone. It's my husband's. Okay, just a few more. Oops, in between the molds, let's slide this in. Silicone stamps. For Halloween. One says, this Halloween, I'm sending you. This one says, my best witches. Which, please. No one is watching. Eat the candy. And then we have Happy Halloween. You say witch like it's a bad thing. Something wicked this way comes. And then the bottom half of a witch. All right. I hope you guys can see all of that. All right, I'm going to set that to the side over here and get to the molds. Some I have to cut open because they're not in those packages that have the pull apart area. This is a rose mold. Lots of roses. So we've got three, six, seven, eight roses in there. I hope I'm, yeah, okay. I had to recount, that's bad. Each rose is approximately five eighths. by half inch. This is a Mandela lacing. It is actually supposed to be a food mold. And um, I've decided I'm going to use it anyway because I really like this pattern in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dam up the sides and pour resin in it. Hope you can see all the detail in that. Get a little bit closer. Try to shadow some of the areas so you can see more detail. All right. That one there is, did I do? Oh yeah, the rose mold was the last one. Let me see that for a moment, please. No, no, just leave it in the bag. It's just for measurements. The actual, <clears throat> the actual design itself from tip to tip is about four and three eighths. And then side to side all the way is about four and seven eighths. The next ones are gears. That's for the steampunk um, style of life. 
Uh, the largest one is about one and three eighths wide, and the smallest. I have to turn this upside down so I can see better. Is about <clears throat> excuse me three quarter inch. As you can see, this one here. Get that cut open real fast. More gears, widest, biggest, largest, I'm going to try to go from the inset, two and a quarter inch, smallest, which is this one here, Ah, uh, seven eighths. I do have another clock. <clears throat> kind of, sort of. And it has to be done in pieces. And it is a pocket watch style. Oops, sorry. Um, so this piece has to be done separately from this piece. And this does have all the numerals on it. And then these two are the hands. Very small detail. So it's gonna be probably a pain to fill, but if you just open it up like this, you can do it. And then the last one. Bones. Of course, everybody needs bones to go with skulls, don't we? Well, we all know that I'll be doing some skulls for Halloween. All right, everyone. Thank you for hanging with me. I appreciate it greatly. Um, I'm really sorry. I've been kind of a Debbie Downer over these. But now that I have to get a hold of Timu... And tell them I'm not accepting only three knives when I bought a service of eight that goes with the um, silverware, the flatware. And so there's going to be, I don't know, maybe I'll just stop buying from Timu because it's getting ridiculous if customs can't make sure that your things get in one piece and not destroyed. I just don't know. I, I'm just... Being a Timu affiliate, I can't blame Timu. I really just can't. And it's not because um, I'm an affiliate now. It's because I'm pretty sure that a bunch of these things come over from China in freights and stuff like that. But I'm not so positive that they come over all um, crunched together. I'm sure that they ship them better than that. Uh, what I worry about is when it gets to, of course, customs. And then you have to worry about the damages that are caused by uh, the shipping companies, such as UPS, uh, FedEx. Some people don't get FedEx. So I haven't had one package from FedEx yet from Timu, so... It's always been UPS and USPS, and both of them, the packages show up beat up, um, and as you can tell, something's missing. So I don't know what to do about that, to how to, how to help anybody get that solved other than to contact customs and throw a major gripe. All right, everyone, um, 
until next uh, video, uh, love y'all. Thank you for watching, bearing with me and my gripes. And uh, if you like the video, if you like anything in the video, thumbs up. Uh, like I said, all prices, or not prices, all links to these items, if they are in stock and not discontinued, will be in the description. If they are out of stock, or I will put in there that it's out of stock. If it's discontinued, I will put that as well. Um, so if, I want to thank everybody for, again, watching and subscribing. Um, I was up to 175 last I saw. And so I've had three new subscribers uh, in one day. That's pretty awesome. Um, you guys are great. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, my 172 I've had for a little while. Uh, you guys, you help make the channel you do. Um, of course, comment. Comments help. Um, let me know some of you um, if you've had experiences, bad experiences with uh, getting your items from Timu because... I know I'm not the only one. I've seen a few other people talk about um, how things come in all folded up when they're not supposed to be or crammed and rolled and molds are destroyed and warped out of shape. And a few of these molds were, but while they were resting, they came back, which I appreciated greatly. And of course, share if anything in here you think is valuable to somebody else. All right. Peace out, everyone.